Welcome back. It is National Self Care Month and by now we've been going through this pandemic for more than six months. So if you're like me, you might be feeling a little bit down. In this week's Your Best Life, I talked to two relationship coaches about finding a little happiness in the small things. In the midst of a global pandemic, finding the good in life, finding the happiness might seem hard, but relationship coaches Johan Erb and Rachel Pringle Erb say it can be as easy as slowing down, feeling grateful, and savoring moments of bliss. Slowing down, because a lot of times I find that, you know, we're always in a hurry, yes. right? The husband and wife team says they start each morning by priming the day, an intention setting practice with a simple formula. One way to look at it is like you're speaking out a prayer or you're speaking out an intention. It begins with day is, and it ends with the day is the best day ever. And in the middle, you're just saying what it is versus what you wish it was. Tell me what today is, Rachel. Today is the most nourishing, supportive, a delicious, yummy day where we feel so seen and received mm -hmm. and connected and joyful and in celebration mm -hmm. and... And not only that, today is also the day that we are discovering new things together. Today's a day where we're so excited about life. And today is hands down the best day mm -hmm. ever. They also practice daily gratitude. If we just shift our focus into gratitude for what we already have, mm -hmm. right? It's amazing what that does instead of what we don't have, what we can't do, where we can't go. It literally changes how you view your, your world. The herbs say finding pleasure and joy in life comes from living with intention, even while you're doing your normal routine. Engaging, bringing all your awareness into an action that you're experiencing, whether it's doing breath work, doing meditation, doing a short workout together, not doing it in a rush. There's nowhere to rush through. So can we really slow down everything to take in the fullness of the moment? And they say it's a really great practice for families to do together. Just don't push it. The key is to make things fun. Yeah. And not necessarily make them serious and long. Another easy tip, dancing, which is free, and they say that it's an instant mood booster.